Hey guys, today I have an unboxing of what I believe to be the new Moyu Weilong WRM. I'm really excited for this cube, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here we have a, it looks like the Yushin Little Magic Square One. I don't really do Square One, but I will look at that a little bit too. And here is the main event, the Weilong WRM. But I will take a look at this cube second. Let me just really quickly look at this square one. Okay, it doesn't have any plastic or anything. Looks pretty standard. Some nice shades, getting into turning. So yeah, not much to say on this cube, but I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, this is feeling pretty nice. has a nice, quick, dry feeling, uh, pretty smooth, and I do enjoy turning on it even though I don't do square one. So if you do like square one, definitely check this cube out. But I know most of you aren't here to see this cube, so let's move on to this one. Very nice packaging. That's been a trend with a lot of the big releases. Okay, so quite a bit of stuff in this package. We have the cube on the left, and we have this package of what looks like a bunch of different adjustment tools. We have some extra screw spring sets with the adjustment tool for the spring compression system, a screwdriver here, some magnets, an extra core. I believe these are tensioning tools. We have the MoU card. And I guess this thing here is showing how you can use the cube box to display your cube. All right, so to take this out of the box, just slide the bottom off and pops right out. There's no lube on the outside, which is nice. I don't like when cubes come with lube on the outside. And the shades look pretty standard with a slightly pale orange. So anyway, first turns. Yeah, this cube feels really nice right out of the box. Doing first turns, I feel like this cube has a lot of potential. It's a bit dry right now and definitely needs some setting up, but overall I like the feeling and I like the way that it's turning apart from some minor catches, which uh, should be fixed with some tensioning and some lubing. Now what I am curious to see is how this mechanism compares to the GTS 3M and the GTS 2M. So ignoring the lube on the left here, we have the GTS 3M. And on the right here, we have the new WRM. And I definitely see a ton of similarities. In fact, they, they're nearly the same. These are what the two cores look like, GTS-3M on the left and WRM on the right. Also looks the same. The major change from the GTS-3M is that there are no ridges on this cube, which I actually kind of like. I didn't think that I disliked the ridges when I tried it on the GTS-3M, but feeling a similar cube without the ridges, I'm enjoying turning it a bit more and I just feel like it is actually easier to hold without ridges for some reason. Really quickly let's take a look at the corner cutting. Yeah it's doing pretty well right now there's a little window where it can't quite cut there. Reverse is also, reverse is fantastic. Yeah reverse is really nice. 
Okay, so that is it for this unboxing of these two cubes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!